Hey guys, it's Hindai, and today we're gonna watch ReZero Season 2, Episode 12. But before we do that, I would like to give a very short intro. So in case you are new here, welcome to my channel. Basically, I make anime reaction videos. And since I got the copyright strike, I usually add a timer to my videos. But if you want to watch a reaction video without a timer, please do check the description box. I always leave a link there. So thank you so much for dropping by, and I hope you find something interesting from my channel. So now it's time to watch Season 2, Episode 12. Let's do this. Onegashimasu. Okay, so he did die. Okay, I was right. Okay. Okay, his eyes are okay. His eyes are okay. Ah, oh, that's good. And Nunyatan is there, okay. That's a good sign, I think. Oh. Oh! Okay, so he did remember that. Mm. Obviously not. Yes, let's go. You have to. Oh, don't say that. I mean, you're not gonna die. Yeah. I have to die. I have to die. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Okay. Hey. But she said it's going to be more difficult this time. Oh. Eh? Eh? What happened? Eh? Was that his voice? Sotsuki. Eh? Eh? What is this? Okay, I I, I remember this. I mean, um Yeah, when he tried to die. Oh, even Felix is crying. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Eh? Oh boy. Eh? Okay, he's back. I don't know what was the significance of that. Uh -huh. Again? Again? Uh, Julius! Julius! Um. 
You use really? Okay, he's awake again. I wonder how many more of that will happen. Eh? Eh? Oh, one more. Oh, when he jumped. Yeah. When he killed himself. Oh. That person. Hmm. Ooh, savage. Okay, one more? Ah, uh, I don't want to look at this. Eh? Hey! Hey! Reinhardt? Reinhardt and Puck, yeah. He's out here. Mm. Equally guilty. Uh huh. <gasps> Something like that. <laughs> Reinhard. Hmm. Ooh. But I think Puck is stronger. Am I wrong? Eh? He actually killed Puck? Oh, okay. Eh? One more? Ah, oh, this one! Okay, so we're going to see, like, every death, I think. Oh, this one, too. Oh, this one. Hmm. Rem? Your Rem. No, no, that's not her. Oh, no, that's not her. Ever useful. I feel like crying right now, and I don't know why. Just seeing Rem. I don't say that. Yeah. Oh. oh. Again with this. Again with this. She's acting like Rem though. I mean, she's acting like herself.
Ajá. Ajá. And the background music. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay, he finally realized. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. That's the spirit. Oh, yeah, she did say that. Episode 18, I think? I thought he was gonna punch her. <laughs> the voice. Really? I think so. Ooh. And the one disguised as Emilia Tan last time. Oh. What a twist. Echidna said what? Eh? 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 Okay. Another tea party then. Faceless bride? Oh. Okay. I want to know too. I'm a witch. Okay. Okay. As a result, okay. Please elaborate. Oh, okay. However, ah, uh, are real or not? Mm. Might actually have ap happened. Yep. I wonder if she's telling the truth. Like, does she really not know? I hope so. Okay. 
Like, what's the catch? That was a cute one. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but think about it, Beho wanted out, right? So she wanted to end the contract. But why? Oh, he's actually considering it. And she's actually so excited. Okay, girl. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Subaru-kun, are you really gonna do this? Eh? Eh? Really? Why? Yeah. Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Subutakun is really famous. <laughs> That's a good question, Subaru-kun. Echidna! How could you? <laughs> okay, let's hear it. <laughs> really? Oh. Oh. Basically everything. Hmm. Carmilla? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I am also confused right now. Who's this? Ah, segment. <laughs> Watchdog? Oh, I feel bad for her. Okay. I don't know too. Hmm? Yes.
Oh. Okay. Is this like similar to what uh, Roshi said? Eh? Hmm. Love this frame. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Together. Really? <laughs> okay, Echidna. This is a bit creepy. Should I believe her? Okay. Okay. Really? <laughs> okay. Okay. After all. Okay, everyone is listening. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Savage. She doesn't care. Oh, oh boy. Hey. Our contract. Uh, about Bayako? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Eh? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, who is that person? How can I set her free? No, girl, tell him. Eh? 
person nothing <laughs> okay girl She really is. So he's not gonna form a contract with her, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> hey, Oko. Why? What's happening? Eh? Who? Is it Satella? Oh, her face. Look. Telada. Telada. Eh? What is she doing there? No! Okay, it makes me want to watch episode 13, but... Okay, I'm not gonna watch the next episode today, because it's pretty late now. Okay, so let me gather my thoughts and I'm gonna talk a little about this episode. Okay, it's time for me to talk a little about season 2 episode 12 and this time I really do have to make this quick because it's super late now and I have to go to bed. But yep, yeah, okay, let's try to talk about Subaru Kun. His goal is still the same, it's to save everyone else, so that's good. So um, after everything he's been through, after everything he has learned, the goal remains the same. So next, guys, I do think that Subaru Kun is really curious about Roshi's goal. Because last time, Roschi told him that he is working on a certain goal or there is something that he desires. But he would not tell Subaru-kun what it is. So in this episode, Subaru-kun made it clear that he doesn't want to become like Roschi. So next, guys, okay, he asked Ikiduna to invite him to another tea party. But instead of getting tea, he got a glimpse or he experienced the second trial. So please do correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that was like the second trial. So we saw um, Subrakuen's deaths and how the world looked like every after his death. So I noted here, or yeah, I want to talk about the second death that they showed us. So guys, Julius asked Emilia Tan to wipe Subrakuen's face. And the thing was, Julius tried to hand Emilia Tan a handkerchief, but she did not take it. So she wiped Subrukun's face with her bare hands. And another thing, guys, Julius wanted to call Subrukun his friend. So I really cannot wait to see that happen. So next, guys, okay, I asked this earlier. I asked this earlier, who's stronger? Puck or Reinhardt? I really want to know. But yep, yeah, next, guys, a fake rem showed up so obviously it really wasn't rem uh subaru -kun knew it wasn't her so it turned out that it was carmilla carmilla and now guys we heard echidna's goal maybe it's just one of her goals but yep echidna wanted to form a contract with subaru -kun. so basically she wants to use subaru -kun and she wants subaru -kun to use her in my opinion, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea at all. I think it's not a fair deal. I feel like Subaru-kun will not 
gain a lot from that contract. But I do believe that Echidna can gain a lot from that certain contract. So now, guys, um, after Echidna tried to explain everything to Subarukuin, Subarukuin came up with this conclusion. Echidna is incapable of understanding how anyone feels. And I do agree with him on that one. Although I still love Echidna. I still love Echidna. So now, she also... Echidna said that she's going to show Subarukuin her anger or that different side of her when they meet or when they next meet. So I'm kind of scared of seeing that part of her. But at the same time, I do want to see more of her. I mean, more of her powers, her skills, her abilities. So I think it would be a really cool thing. So another thing, guys, Subarukuin finally asked Echidna about Bayoko. So I noted here, um, Echidna said, I was deeply involved in her birth. So I'm not really sure what she meant by that one. I hope that she will elaborate elaborate on that more next time. So yeah, and about that person, that person again. Okay, so Subarukun asked her, who is that person? And she just said that she doesn't know. She didn't know. And I'm not really sure if she's telling the truth or not. Because, like, I think she knows that if she tells Subarukun that she doesn't know, um, Subarukun won't definitely form a contract with her. So, yeah, I'm not really sure if she's telling the truth or not. And then, guys, oh, this line, or the one that... Uh, okay, so, like, Echidna's goal? Why she did that to Beiko? She said that she wanted to find out who Bayako will choose. So, yeah, it's kind of cruel if you think about it. And it made me think that maybe Bayako really wanted to choose um, Subarukun, even though she kept saying that Subarukun is not that person. But I don't know why she wants Subarukun to be that person. I, I don't know what her reason is. So, Yes, guys, after hearing um, her answers, Subarukun decided not to form a contract with Echidna. And I love what he said. He said, I know whose hands I want to take. And then, of course, after that, Satella arrived. And I am really surprised about everyone's reaction because I really thought that everyone else would run away or like try to escape or... Um, I thought that they would be angry. But Mina-san, they weren't... It didn't seem like they were afraid of Satella. They were... Uh, some of them were kind of disturbed or something. But they even called her, like, Tella. So I'm really curious what's going to happen next. I don't know what's going to happen to Subaru-kun. But yep, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope to see you in the next one. Matane!